Stockholm Agreement. The agreement is aimed at improving the well-being of the child by tracking the extent to which poor children access social protection services from government. At the heart of this initiative is a tracking and reporting is tracking and reporting on the investment government is making in order to improve the quality of lives of children. In particular, poor children through linking of administrative data systems. This is made possible by using the identity number as a unique number or a variable to any administrative data and matching various data systems in order to determine the extent to which children access services and interventions that government provides. These interventions vary from healthcare, education, social security, as well as other social protection services. In addition to social assistance interventions, it is important that poor children are assisted to begin at an early childhood development level to complete their basic schooling and further their studies. Education is a major vehicle through which children can exit poverty. The current protocol agreement was extended to include the National Student Financial Aid Scheme to ensure that poor children have access to financial assistance to either study at universities or technical and vocational education and TVET colleges. This policy reforming initiative is at its infancy but it allows academically eligible social grant beneficiaries not to be double means tested for financial eligibility. A special outreach project was initiated in October 2016, which was aimed at reaching a large number of poor and vulnerable children in grade 12 to apply for NSFAS funding for the 2017 academic year. Special strategies were also employed to reach as many as poor children, especially in the quintile one, two, three schools, as well as children attending quintile four and five schools. Today, our report provides information on the analysis about children that were receiving social grants, attending grade 12 in 2016, and their metric results. Members of the media, according to Department of Basic Education, 674,620 full-time learners registered to write for the National Senior Certificate. Out of this total, 188,758 learners were social grant beneficiaries. Out of this total, 178,411 grant beneficiaries actually wrote their examinations, which is 95% of the total number. This suggests that over 10,000 grant recipients dropped out of school before sitting for their final examinations. And we have committed ourselves to investigating to the reasons and causes uh, of this dropout. I'm very pleased to announce that the girl child continues to take all the opportunities given to her by government. We want to report that one 112,409 of the total number of social grant learners who wrote metric were girls, and they live in Gauteng and KwaZulu Natal. Of most concerning to us is that only 66,002 boys uh, and two were boys. We need to be concerned about the life of the boy child. 
and it is time that we pay more attention to our boys. Ladies and gentlemen, the Department of Basic Education provides different uh, descriptions for the types of pass for candidates. And therefore, I'll just go straight uh, into those uh, categories. Despite the conditions of our vulnerable children, 41% managed to receive a bachelor's pass, which gives them entry to any tertiary education institution. The majority of the learners who obtained a bachelor's pass were from Wazulu Natal and Gauteng. These results are very important because they show that 83% of the grant recipients are eligible to further their studies for either a diploma or a degree. This information is, vi is vital, particularly for NASFAS, as these students should automatically qualify for funding to further their studies at institutions of higher learning. With the removal of the means test for financial eligibility on social grant beneficiaries, there should be no hindrance in them pursuing their chosen careers. Finally, working closer with NASFAS, a large number of children were reached in order to assist them to apply for financial assistance. For example, a lot of application forms were distributed to ECBND sites, and we were also able to target poor district municipalities by distributing some application forms to DPE district offices. In addition, a number of learners were reached during the department's public participation program, Mikonzo. We are grateful for the existing partnership between the Department of Social Development, SASA, and NASFAS, as it will certainly advance the hopes and aspirations of the poor, often and vulnerable children in the country. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all our social grant beneficiaries who did well and to encourage those who did not make it. We want to say this is not the end of the journey and also it's not the end of life. And government has made provision for all learners who did not pass to try again through a specially designed second chance matric support program. The department also through the GBV command center will continue to provide counseling and support to all learners and parents of children who could not make it. But also, the Department of Social Development commits in supporting all grant recipients who are on their journey to higher education should they come across difficulties throughout the country. Towards the end of the week, we are going to provide uh, to the media and to all uh, institutions names of uh, people that are going to take responsibility of uh, the children throughout the country. I thank you.